Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to teach you how to add authentication in Swagger Gen. So here we have a Swagger Gen and just I want to add authentication before doing this. Just I want to open right out and you can see that here we have uh, that data will be opened like that. Okay. So just I want to uh, just I want to add uh, authentication in a Swagger Gen. So just you can say that I uh, just stop this project right now and uh, open your API project and just go for the program.cs file and here we have Swagger Gen like that. So here we have a Swagger Gen. Uh, here we have a Swagger Gen. You can say that. So uh, just in the Swagger Gen, just you have to add options. So in the options, you have to add options. Okay, and in the options, you have to add option dot add security definition. Add security definition. And what is the security definition? You have to write it here. That is the string name. So just type it name is JWT. Just I want to use JWT para defaults. So here we have a JWT para defaults dot authentication scheme. The first one is the JWT para authentication scheme name. Okay. And the next one is the security scheme. You can say security. Security. Yeah, that is a scheme that is the security scheme just I want to add it here and that is the new open API security scheme so new open API uh, that is the open API security scheme that is the Microsoft dot open API dot models right there so just you can use using statement so just control dot and use open api security scheme and add it here that is using like this and here we have open api security scheme so just a new line that is the open api security scheme and what inside in the open api security scheme and that is the name of the open api security scheme that is must match to authorization that is the authorization and the next one open uh, api security scheme that is description and the description is enter the better authorization uh, and here we have that is you can say use apostrophe in the apostrophe beer beer generated JWT token. that is the right on your uh, screen okay and after that you will go for the next one that is in and that is in is parameter location dot header so parameter location dot header and the next one is the type just i want to use it here that is security scheme type security scheme type dot API key and the next one is a scheme and what is the scheme that is better just I want to use it here better token okay so that is the settings to give it uh, actually a scheme and write the simple text for the user and the next one is to add options dot add security requirements add security requirements first one is the security scheme add security definition the next uh, option is add security requirement and what is the security requirement that is the new open api open api security requirement and what is the security requirement is 
and that is uh, you can say new open api uh, new, new open api security scheme new open api security scheme that is there and in which you can say uh, the reference the first one is the reference and this is the new open api reference okay and here we have the reference is type what is the reference type is that is reference type reference type dot security scheme the next one is id and in which you can say jwt bearer defaults that is bearer defaults dot authentication scheme just i want to add it here and the next one is to add that is comma and just i want to add new string new string of array okay so here you can see that here we have uh, to add new security scheme right there so just you have to add curly brackets surrounding there and after that okay and here we have to add semicolons okay and if it is there any mistakes that is the uh, curly bracket is missing okay so everything is uh, nice i think so this is that is the thing you can add in the in your uh, swagger gen so here we have authorization and the open api security scheme that is type and id so here we have uh, the bearer so just add enter the bearer authorization right there and here we have to just add bearer authentication and wait for some times it's it will be uh, generated by your swagger generation here we have a swagger generation and you can see that here we have nothing to add right there okay okay so stop the application now and just save this application and restart it again and you will see that uh, lots of time uh, actually page is cached so just restart the application and uh, after saving your application you will see that your uh, page will be redirect to the actual page so here we have a local host and uh, that is the uh, that is the web application project and that is the swagger generation project and here we have so here we have a authorize attribute right there and just when we click on the authorize attribute then you can see that here we have a bearer api key and uh, enter the bearer uh, enter the bearer authorizations that is the bearer and the generated jwt token so just write the names uh, that is bearer and a space and just write type your authentication token right there okay so that's the type and you can see that it's everything is fine now after that you will be uh, click to authorize attribute just right to click on it and here we have the token values will be there and just close this application and you will see that here we have a registration process and just try it out uh, there uh, that is the login process also so here we have just try it out and you will see that here we have to execute it and you you can see that 200 uh, that is the 200 string string response body and like that so uh, that is the authorized attributes right there